We'll start with a partridge clink hammer, size 14, barbless hook. I've got yellow 40 knot shear. This is the AP pontoon emerger, Andre Payan's pattern. So we just attach this, remove that, and we want to go down into the bend to about there. And I've got a very fine piece of brown zeolon. Go back here with that. I just attach that in like that. And go down. Keep it on top of the hook shank, and we go down right into the bend. We want to use the full curve of this emerger hook, like so, and then we can stop there. We can remove the surplus from there and we want this shuck to be about the same length as the hook shank so we can bend that over, measure and then trim it off. One got a little bit longer now. There we go. Perfect. Then what we need is some yellow super fine dubbing we we'll just attach that in, slide it up, let's get that spun in, tighten it up and then we can go up and make a fine tapering body. getting a little larger as we approach the thorax then when we get to there we need a little bit more dubbing and we want to make a support a very tight spun dubbing for the wing a little ball if you will. So we just go in here that'll do is just fine. We go in front we take two CDC hackles and place them back to back like so and then holding the points we level the tips up and we pull them through our fingers like this to form just want to get those tips correct there we are keeping them like this make a pinch I pull down one each side of the hook and we go forward a wee ways to make a little collar Check now, that's perfect, and then we go back and the wing should be like that. Okay, what we do now is we pull this one back to the side like so and we make two or three tight wraps and then we do the same on this side pulling it down like so so they're both facing backwards so now I'm going to use a bit of brown olive dubbing for the thorax so we want to just tighten that in and we'll slide that up catch it in and then we'll tighten all this up And we'll make a couple of turns there and then what we do is we lift everything up including the wing and we go behind the whole thing and that holds everything up and we'll pull this wing forward or 
the legs, should I say, and we go around that and then we pull that one forward so they both stick out, go once more there so they're pointing a little bit more forward, there we are, tighten up my dubbing again and then finish off there take a with finisher put one in and then another tighten up remove the tying thread then what we want to do is trim the legs to size. So we take both the hackles, we pull them down like this, we want to trim them off around the hook point. Like that. And we've got a little coming down underneath that. Don't want that. and then the legs are sticking out at the sides and this is a beautiful mayfly emerger that you can tie in smaller sizes down to a 20 and it works absolutely superb if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching